Now the problem EA has with FIFA is one that's familiar to all top managers. Your team's just won the title, your player's in the absolute peak of condition. But with a new season coming up, do you bring in a load of new signings or do you keep things largely the same? And most important of all, are you paying customers getting value for money? We gave them both an eight last season. But in hindsight, it's now clear that after a major strengthening of the squad, while Konami's tactics lost direction, FIFA 09 is a worthy title holder in the footy gaming league. The question now is, where next? At the Emirates Stadium on a sunny afternoon in April, we're about to find out earlier than ever before, with a full hands-on with FIFA 10 before the game's even 50% complete. Go on. Oh, just tip the ball around the post. Adding gravitas to the occasion, EA Sports Supremo Peter Moore kicks off with a chairman-like update on his club's ambitions for the coming season. And he leaves FIFA producer Dave Rutter in no doubt as to what this means for him. A Metacritic rating of 90. I want 90. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's a challenge, and as I said um, in, the, in the presentation, it's not easy with sports games, you know, to, to continue to raise the bar every single year. And it's half tongue-in-cheek, because I know how difficult it is. FIFA 09 has been spectacular, and, you know, they've got a high bar for, um, for FIFA 10. So, yeah, I mean, Rudder's got some work to do, but, uh, yeah, I'd like a 90 this year. So, how do you feel about that, Dave? We're doing everything in our power to, to, to do everything that matters, we think anyway, to, to the fans of the game and hopefully what matters to the fans of the game will be reflected in our review scores from gentlemen such as yourself. Rutter admits that the team is split 70% on refinement, 30% on innovation. But are we really going to see enough new content? I don't think there's a, a danger of us not being able to find enough to do. As I say, things like uh, uh, making sure the, the, the kind of goalkeeper's behaving naturally and, and just catching the ball, a simple catch, and making it look good is one aspect of it. I think making sure that players are able to take the, the ball control properly, trapping easier rather than earlier. There's a lot of work required to make sure that it's fair, that it's believable. Most of these changes are of the tweak variety, but there is one change with potentially massive consequences. 360 degree control. It's going to totally change the way that you play the game because you're going to be able to move to any area of the pitch whenever you want just by literally pushing yourself there rather than having to take multiple angles to get there and that really changes the way the game plays. A major overhaul of manager mode is also coming. But if that still sounds like a minor makeover, Rutter promises there are more surprises to come, both this season and next. I think it's indicative of there are bigger changes afoot for 10 that we haven't told you about yet. Uh, there will be bigger changes for 11 as well. We've got some stuff uh, that is in very, very early stages of thought uh, rather than work at the moment that we want to try and do. Uh, but certainly for, for FIFA 10, there's still a lot more to come out yet. But is all this enough for it to be worth another 40 quid of your money? Ah! We're not talking about everything that's in the game, we're talking about a small amount. From a, from a gameplay perspective, if I can make a, a 90 rated gameplay experience, uh, as well as all the other stuff that we're doing on top, I think it's, it's more than worth, worth the money. And after a few seasons of hard graft, Moore is finally comfortable acknowledging that he reckons his team is better than that Pro Evo lot. I don't underestimate Konami. I've spent a lot of time, as you know, in Japan over the years, and they're a great company. And the day we start resting on our laurels is the day we'll start slipping back. We've, we've got, to your point, a little bit of distance in the rearview mirror between ourselves and our competitor right now, but uh, we can't get complacent and we can't uh, stop trying to innovate and making sure we keep that distance between them, us and them. Moore, of course, is a die-hard Liverpool fan. And despite residing in San Fran these days, he's made his own personal shrine to the Reds. And of course my conference room is decked out in red and white with uh, the liver bird on the outside and is called Anfield. Of course, when we speak to Peter, the English Premiership title is still technically up for grabs. And I can give you the opportunity now, Peter, we can use this at the appropriate moment in the, in the coming weeks to congratulate Manchester United on their Premier League. You're wins. not going to get that, I, uh, you know, over my dead body. Better luck next season, Pete. FIFA 10 will be out on lots and lots of formats this autumn. To read Eurogamer's early hands-on thoughts, hit the red button.
half an hour with Minkley? <laughs> Jeez. I thought you were going to say like 15. <laughs> Women pay a fortune for that movie. Ah, I no guess idea. they would. Yeah, but well, that's 27 minutes of that is wasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh.